Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, side A, B length uh, is uh, 3 units. The side uh, A, D length uh, is uh, 4 units. The side uh, C, D length uh, is uh, 6 units. And finally, the side uh, B, C length uh, is uh, 5 units. And moreover, this base uh, AB is parallel to this uh, base uh, CD. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested uh, in calculating the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to the height uh, H uh, times the sum of the bases A and B all over 2. And here we can see our base A is uh, 3 units. Our base A is uh, 6 units. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, height uh, h uh, value of this uh, trapezoid. So therefore we are going to think outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here I have created uh, this uh, line BE such that uh, this uh, BE is uh, parallel to this uh, side uh, AD. So therefore we can see that this uh, BE length has got to be equal to this uh, AD length and this AD length is 4 so therefore uh, BE length turns out to be 4 units as well. And since we are dealing with this uh, parallelogram uh, ABED so therefore uh, this segment uh, DE length uh, has got to be equal to this uh, AB length. AB length is 3. So therefore uh, this segment uh, DE length has got to be 3 units. And moreover we know this whole uh, base uh, length is uh, 6. So therefore uh, this uh, CE length uh, has got to be 3 units. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3, 4 and 5 uh, respectively. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. So therefore we are going to apply the Heron's formula. And if I label this side lowercase a, this side uh, lowercase b and this side uh, lowercase c, then the area of this uh, triangle could be written as uh, the square root of uh, s times uh, s minus a times s minus b times uh, s minus c where uh, s is equal to a plus b plus c all over 2. So no wonder this uh, s is called the semi perimeter and here in our case uh, a value is 5, b value is 4 and c value is 3. So therefore we are going to calculate the value of uh, s. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So S is going to be equal to A value is 5, B value is 4, C value is 3, all over 2. So therefore our lowercase s value turns out to be simply 6. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle EBC by substituting S value as 6 a value as uh, 5, b value as uh, 4, c value as uh, 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, s equal to 6 uh, times 6 uh, minus uh, 5 times 6 minus uh, 4 and finally 6 uh, minus uh, 3. And now we could see 6 minus 5 equals to 1. 6 minus 4 is uh, 2 and 6 minus 3 is 3 and if we could multiply area is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 
36. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle simply turns out to be positive 6 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC simply turns out to be 6. And now in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, BF on this uh, base uh, EC. So therefore we could see that uh, this uh, perpendicular BF is the height uh, lowercase h uh, of this uh, triangle. And now our task is to find the value of height uh, h. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle uh, EBC is uh, 3 units, whereas the height uh, is uh, lowercase uh, h, and the area is uh, 6 square units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got area equals to 6 uh, equal to a half times uh, base is uh, 3 times the height uh, lowercase h. So therefore we could write uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, h equal to 6 and now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction on both sides. Therefore I'm going to multiply 2 third on left hand side and 2 third on the right hand side as well to isolate this height h and here we can see 2 third and 3 divided by 2 cancel each other out. So therefore our height h simply turns out to be for uh, units. So thus height uh, h value simply turns out to be 4. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again. Area equals to height h times uh, a plus b all over 2. And here our uh, base uh, a value is uh, 3 our uh, base b value is uh, 6 and our height h value is 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Uh, so the trapezoid ABCD area is going to be our height uh, h is 4 divided by 2 times uh, our base is 3 and uh, the other base uh, is 6. And now let's make an observation. 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2 and 3 plus 6 is going to give us uh, 9 equal to 18 square units, the area of the trapezoid ABCD. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this trapezoid ABCD turns out to be 18 square units. In other words, the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD is going to be simply 18 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.